Ladies and gentlemen, in the battle between law and grace, between legalism and liberty, between religion and relationship, grace wins. Once there was a man who hired a maid to clean his house. He looked through a dozen resumes and finally found a maid whose skills matched his needs. When he hired her, the two of them signed a contract that explicitly detailed their mutual obligations. He agreed to pay a certain wage in exchange for 40 hours of work each week. He gave her a thick employee manual that explained her duties in great precision. The maid was required to prepare meals, wash the dishes, dust the living room, sweep the hall, and wash his clothes. The contract specified that if she failed to do her work, she would be fired. Now after a time, romance blossomed between the man and the maid. They fell in love and they got married. After they said, I do at the altar, the girl was no longer a servant and the man was no longer her employer. Now they were husband and wife. And as a wife, the former maid is set free from the rules and regulations of the contract. No longer does the employee manual bind her to the performance of set duties. However, because she loves her husband, she continues to do everything she used to do and even more. As a wife, her desire is to please her husband. When there is love, no rules are required. The husband would be foolish to give her a list of 10 marriage commandments. C can you imagine? Number one, thou shalt have no other husbands besides me. Number two, thou shalt not have pictures of any other men before you. Number three, thou shalt not take the name of thy husband in vain or ever say anything disrespectful about him. Number four, remember date night and keep thy schedule free so we can go out to eat. Number five, honor thy husband and thy children and take care of them. Number six, thou shalt not to forget to sweep the floor, do the laundry, and cook meals. Number seven, thou shalt not commit adultery. Number eight, thou shalt kiss thy husband upon waking in the morning and before going to sleep. Number nine, thou shalt not lie to thy husband. Number 10, thou shalt not spend too much money at the mall. 10 commandments of marriage would be ridiculous. There is a greater law in force for the wife than any Ten Commandments he could muster up. That law is the law of love. The loving wife continues to work in the house, not because of duty, but because she cares for her husband and she wants him to be happy. Nor does the husband threaten to leave her if she does not perform perfectly. When she was a maid, he could fire her for the tiniest infraction. But once they are bound together by the covenant of marriage, there's a whole new level of commitment. So he continues to love her even if she burns the toast. Marriage is not about rules, it's about relationship. Another name for the law of love is the law of the spirit of life. Romans 8 2 refers to this law. It says, for the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. And so in the Old Testament times, we had a contract with God. It was a thick set of, of rules and regulations that everyone had to follow. But now in the New Testament, we have a relationship with God and no longer are we under rule, now we're under love. And the law of love becomes far more important than any rule book telling you what to do.